Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your first stop in your jam-packed weekend for Overwatch. We're doing some GGEU tonight. I'm joined here by Red Knight, and we've got an absolute barn burner to start us off. We've got the Dynamos taking on Team Rolled. I mean, Knight, I am so excited for this. Yeah, no, it should be great. Uh, I always love watching Expert Division games, and both teams mm -hmm. are sitting towards the top of the standings. You gotta love it, uh, especially with like how wide open the meta has been the last few weeks. Um, you know, we know uh, it's open to everyone's play styles, and you know the best teams are going to be the ones that can adapt their play style for the map they're on. And I'm just super thrilled to see what these teams have for us. Yeah, I completely agree. And uh, luckily enough for me, I've got some insider knowledge when it comes to the Dynamos. Unfortunately, with Team Rolled, I don't have so much to offer as far as uh, inward scrims. But uh, I've seen a couple of the Dynamos do their scrims, and unfortunately for them coming into this match they will not be at full strength they're missing their off tank who is being filled in at the moment and they will unfortunately have to have their coach in playing main support so this could really hurt the dynamos coming up against team rolled who are a four in O team red knight yeah, no, it's really hard to understate the impact of missing an off tank, especially in a meta where D.Va is relevant. Um, you know, it, with Zarya players, you know, as long as they're mm. they're decent with bubble usage and have good mechanics, you can sometimes make it work. But particularly D.Va, right? There's just there's an unquantifiable amount of game sense that's required for the impact of D.Va to fully be realized. Uh, you know, between eating ultimates and then just knowing where to stand to both support your main tank and then also be able to peel for the back line. Um, you know, the loss of a strong D.Va player is a big, big deal. Yeah, it certainly is. And that might be a struggle that we see uh, the Dynamos come into as we go through this series. And as I said, Team Rolled are a team that are 4-0 at the moment. They're certainly going to feel themselves coming into this series. Um, but we're going to see some high-end Overwatch, and you did already mention it, Red Knight. I mean, the meta's kind of swifting a little bit to the skew if. I mean, what are you seeing over in NA be the prevalent meta at the moment? For for me, seriously, when I've been doing scrims, watching scrims and participating, it it looks pretty wide open, right? Map dependency is a big deal. Uh, mm. uh, Kings Row is like dominated by Brawl, but I have seen double bubble there. Uh, you have seen like maps like Gibraltar. You saw teams uh, forcing uh, double bubble for a while, but then they just decided Diva's too good not to play there and just the the high ground mobility. So it really boils down to like where are you playing, uh, what your team is comfortable on and what the other team can run against you. Counterpicking is super important. I think the Dallas Fuel proved that uh, yeah. in the, the May Melee. So, um, you know, it will really boil down. Like, that. maybe the coaching, right, can have a high impact here, right? So I, I'm really interested to see what will go down today. Uh, I don't know. What, what have you been seeing EU side? Well, we're seeing a lot of sort of wild and wacky compositions. Like I said, I've sat in on some of the Dynamo's uh, scrims and without spoiling anything for you, Red Knight, because I want you to see it firsthand. Also, you won't believe me if I told you the composition that the Dynamo's run on Gibraltar. It's All right. alternative, uh, for lack of a better phrase. It's a little kooky. So I actually hope that we do get to see Gibraltar today. It would be super, super special to see the Dynamo's defending Gibraltar with their yeah. patented comp. And again, I won't spoil it for you. All I right, want you to right, see it right. firsthand because uh, you won't believe me if I tell you. Um, but yeah, we're seeing a lot of diversity in the meta. I think the way that we're going at the moment is Double Bubble or Winston Diva. I think that's yeah. where we're headed. Yeah. And the thing is for the Dynamos as well is that they do prefer their Brawl. So again, super worried for the Dynamos coming into this series. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think like, uh, if we're picking a direction, definitely Winston over Reinhardt is kind of the direction we're going, especially after the nerf where they took away his armor. Like, mm -hmm. there is no real reason to go with Reinhardt over Winston. It's just you're more committed to fights. You have to run Lucio over Brig, which no one wants to do because Brig is just so durable, and it takes all the pressure off the off tank to peel for the back line, um, especially if you're like your, your flex support knows how to interact with that peel. So, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I genuinely agree. So it, it will be, it'll be interesting to see whether or not Brawl can, you know, withstand some of the more divey comps that we could see out of rolled. Yeah, uh, it's going to be really interesting. Again, both these teams are experts, so there are no caps on this SR. We've got 4.6 players coming in. We've got, you know, some people with some very serious accolades to their name competing in this uh, tournament. I do believe we are almost ready to go. Uh, I mean, when we take a look at the map pool, we are kicking off with Busan. And 
We do know that even if Brawl isn't played all that much, Mecha Base certainly going to play a place where we see it, Red Knight. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is one of the maps that's like pretty rough if you're not trying to run some kind of dive composition. Um, I have seen uh, Ball uh, Ball Diva or Ball Sigma played on Sanctuary, which mm -hmm. you know is pretty wide open. Really good sight lines for your Ash and uh, Zen to really have an impact. But yeah, Mecha Base. Uh, very favorable to the brawl compositions. I I would expect to see that, especially because May can be so powerful on that initial choke point. Yeah, it really can be. Uh, but I think the good thing about going to Busan first off is w this is going to be a really good barometer for what all of these teams can do. I mean, yeah. we're going to see three different maps in quick succession showing us how everyone's going to perform. And I mean, if you're rocking out over here, Red Knight, what do you roll out with first? Um, if it's me, I like double bubble on this point a lot, uh, but I think just standard dive is also pretty acceptable. The real choke point about whether or not you go with standard dive is whether or not you want to run an echo with a mercy pocket, in my opinion, right? So you give up a little bit of backline durability for uh, a more all-in dive. Uh, but we see dynamos rolling out and brawl. Yeah, and the best way I can explain... Brawled. The best way I can explain the Dynamos is think Chengdu Hunters of the Tier 3 zone. So everything gotcha. that you think you know about Overwatch, flip it on its head. We're going to see the Brawl <laughs> likely come out with Ray on the Symmetra. Ray's known for this Symmetra play. What you'll tend to see is that Tobzi will teleport through a teleport that Ray set up for that high noon combo. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So uh, the one other thing that's going to be difficult for this situation is no no one to contest Widow besides the D.Va, and you don't really want to split your D.Va because of the dive coming in from Roll. Yeah, Jam Jam certainly going to have their hands full coming into this fight as the Dino is pushed forward, immediately take out Uber Hell. Tobzi with another final blow, they're taking out Combo as well, and blink and you miss it, that first team fight is over and done with. The Dynamos should be pretty comfortably taking first cap now. This is this is wonderful. Like I, I so I play like in a diamond tier, you know, team and the number one thing that gets you killed when you're on brawl is just not recognizing the tempo you need to be at and that was just yep. great recognition. Well, as soon as you said that, I mean, Team Rolled clap right back and find two picks. Ray and Tozy both on their backs. Tolino as well will fall and Uber Health with the clean damage. Looking pretty damn dangerous now with Emily also at a very, very high charge. As soon as Dynamo's capped the point, Rolled rolled back in and capped it back. 15 second team fights. Let's go. We're going to get a million. That will be great. Oh man. When I said this was going to be a barometer, this is really going to be a barometer if we get to see that many team fights. Oh, I do not like this switch at all. The Orisa does not seem like the play against a monkey. Yeah, this is certainly alternative, considering we're still running the Baptiste and the Lucio here, Red Knight. I mean, what does the Orisa offer here? Uh, a really powerful ultimate, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe just survivability, but there's Grav. I don't. Yeah. And well, Grab came out, the point is contested as well, but a, a Nano Monkey on top of that Graviton Surge is just going to be good night for that Brawl team. I mean, there was very little that Tolino could do without that sound barrier, right? No, yeah, very little indeed. And also, like, you'll notice that Emily had really good recognition. The moment Jam Jam flew up uh, and was away from the play, like, Emily just popped, popped Grab immediately and got, like, four members. Yeah, and Team Rolled now rolling their ultimates beautifully at the moment. This Primal Rage ready to go for Uber does decide to disengage rather than using it early as the Pulse Bomb from Quan doesn't connect onto anything. The Primal Rage is now a go as Tobzi taken out by CBT. That Widow on the high ground still uncontested as everybody from Full Pine Dynamos corralled into the Mega Health Pack room. Uber will be pressured out of there, but none too scathed. Happy as Larry to keep on pushing forward. The Dynamos in a bit of a pickle here, Red Knight. Yeah, I, this is uh, not ideal. I, I Oh, but here comes Supercharger. Supercharger out very early as well, and the High Noon coming out. Uber will fall, but to the Shotguns of Rain, not the Dead Eye PC for Tobzi there. This might be the breaking in the dam of the double gold composition, but the Rally's going to keep this going on a long, long time. Well, with that Nano lapped on top, Tolino will fall in another. Chunky Graviton Surge comes out from Emily, but she's right in front oh. of an amplification matrix and will be taken out. Full point Dynamo's holding on by the skin of their teeth. That was a like little play, but it made me just gasp was the shield to block the fat right click to probably save two squishies at least. <laughs> uh, but it didn't really matter. Ultimately, the, the Graviton with the Immortality Field would not have effect. 
Yeah, unfortunate. As Team Roll don't want to waste any time. They, they want to get straight on the point here. Guan goes for the sticky bomb. The bubble is good. Self-destruct sent over the top as well from Jam. That's them very little. CBT is in trouble in this back line. Forced to play a slightly passive Widowmaker here as uh, the double bubble composition taking the time and setting up at a halt into the Death Blossom. It's just Beyblade ripping them apart. We'll send them back to spawn and the Dynamos hold on. We're inching very close here, Red Knight, to final fight and a stagger onto Tom is pretty oh, brutal. It's very brutal and you'll notice like really the thing that's uh, making Roll to struggle so much as they don't know how to interact with this Reaper Arissa combination, right? Monkey has to be way more careful about where he stands, and these bulls in a Reaper are just huge. Oh, aggressive high noon here from the Dynamos. They don't want anyone to touch, but unfortunately, Toji's clock was off. Not to worry, CBT will be going down there, but Uber is an angry monkey now on the pitch. He's going wild and takes out Tobzi. Asleep onto the Orisa as well. We'll take down that supercharger. The fight is truly on top of us now as Team Rolled are going on, but they can't touch the no. point. Nano ready to go, but nobody gets on. That it. I if you had told me Arissa Diva was gonna beat Double Bubble, I would have like laughed at you before this match. <laughs> that was that that was crazy. Uh, really good recognition. The, the the command calling from the coach is clearly having an impact. That was, like I I would not have thought to get that aggressive with the Arissa composition where they held and where they chose to held was super influential in capping that point. They didn't have to win the fight. They just had to run out the clock. Yeah, they absolutely did. And luckily for them, nobody from Rolled got to the point because that was very close to being a team Rolled team fight. Yeah. No, very much. I mean, it was it was rough. They were in full retreat, but just no one from Roll touched the point. Super unfortunate. So Volpine Dynamos are up one up, uh, one nothing here on Busan. Is they gonna opt for this Ryan Rush again, Red Knight? Do you prefer looking at this to the Arissa? I do. Uh, I think it's gonna be really hard though, because this point just favors wide open sight lines, and you have to win team fights. You can't even worry about the point, which is not really how brawl compositions want to play. Mm -hmm. So this will be very interesting, and I think Uber does. Ooh, there's a TP. Oh, there's the closing, the distance. Oh, so quickly, Tom gets caught out there and will fall almost instantaneously as Jam Jam hounding CPT into a corner. Ray with the right click takes out Combo as well. But this is how we saw the brawl comp go initially. A quick first cap was seen with another quick retaliation from Team Rolled. Yeah, but I think like crucially they weren't trying to set up in a, like an awkward position, right? The team Rolled's response was enabled so much by them being like, assuming they had time to set up TP in that little uh, room. Oh, great holds straight away to the, to the widow of CPT there. That again, disastrous as the photon barrier was nearly online. The primal rage now out as well. Uber doing tremendously well to have built that as quickly as he had. And now just has complete ownage of the payload. Jam Jam is gonna stall on top of this drum for as long as they can, but they will be d sooner than you could blink. And that's gonna be a flip coming over again, just like it's scripted in the first point. So they delay there nicely with the immortality field, and yeah, that, that's a... Uh, that, I think that I'm always... I'm curious to know why they're holding where they're holding with this brawl composition, why they wouldn't hold the right side drum, because I feel like they just give up, like, these angles to Widowmaker and to the Tracer that they just don't need to. Yeah, I agree. Uh, they do have the Photon Barrier ready to go in on this engage, and I assume it's going to be a TP straight to the point, but Kwan has sniffed this out already, as has Ubu, he's got the Nano on top of him, and that's going to be done as soon as it started. These team fights concluding in electrifying paces now, as Team Rolled really living up to their name there. That fight was indeed a roll. You have to wonder whether or not it'd be worth running like a Tracer uh, opposite the Sim to be able to apply some pressure to this Widow without having to commit your entire team to finding the Widow. Uh, just as like a harassment tool and like to maybe even pull the attention of the enemy tracer as well. One of the two. Yeah, and the problem is now with sights. You know, Team Roll is gonna know all fine dynamos. Every move, the sticky on top of the oh. grabs on search doesn't finish anyone off in the beat. Will keep everyone healthy as Emily falls of all people. Team Rolled now taking casualties as a second primal rage online. The shadow cancel from Yannick and well timed sleep from Tom will end that tirade. Nice and quickly. Uber, however, in a spot of bother will be taken out by Tobzi, who so many times clutched team fights back for the dynamos. They have now captured this point and will take onus of it but it was a costly fight 
Yeah, lots of ults exchange there, but uh, you'll notice it's like fairly even in terms of exchange. There's only going to be, uh, it looks like Pulse Bomb available for roll when this thing concludes, and Tobesy has his ultimate as well. Everyone else sitting around 50%. Oh my gosh, this could be a 99. The stall coming out from Roald is so influential. Okay, they got to 89. So Dynamo's gonna have to play this perfectly now, Red Knight. Yeah, absolutely. I, I See, in like this position, I'm just scared for them. Like they can just get opened up on so many different angles, especially with the ball in play now. Yeah, and I mean, you look at Quan just taking all the space on the right-hand side and now left-hand side that they want, and that's part and parcel yeah. of the problem. The Widow! <laughs> Goes around the great bamboozle mark two. We'll just surround the brawl comp and pick and choose who they decide to click the head of. Finishing off Tobesy there mid high noon. A beautiful stick will get cancelled by that immortality fuel, but the D mech will come through and the herd is thinning for the Volpine Dynamos now. A desperate shatter out from Yannick. Too little, too late, however, is the beat from Tolino also going to be kicking and screaming to hold on to this point. But Red Knight is all for naught now. It's gonna be rough. I mean, you should still get, like, the opportunity to touch. Oh, as Tolino finally Ooh. goes down. Um, and, you know, relatively speaking, if the, you can win one more team fight, it will flip and be, you know, one fight territory the other way. But yeah, this is pretty rough. You gotta get a touch quick here. Yeah, you really do. And it's, it's got to be Yannick on this wrecking ball. And he just can't get there he gets shield bashed a beautiful play from the support line of team rolled all round long there uh the sleeps to cancel shatters from tom there combo with a beautiful shield bash to stop the touch and we're one to one here on busan yeah absolutely but you know crucially they won downtown so now we get to play on mecha base which i mean volpine understands the anatomy of brawl really well and I think it's going to be a lot harder to, like, give away map control uh, like they did on Sanctuary, where, like, the map just isn't really favorable to what they want to run. Like, uh, the angles and hard cover here will favor Dynamo's preferred style. And we see that rep uh, represented, and look at what Rold's running right now. Yep. Uh, Doom wow. May. Doom May. I mean, we do have a tactical pause, but we, we have the May and the Doomfist, which, operating correctly, should completely bypass the Symmetra. Right, if the Doomfist can get a quick pick early on, the Symmetra from Ray kind of just goes all for naught. So Tobesy, the McCree for Volpine Dynamos, is going to have a big task ahead of him to find that flashbang onto that Doomfist Red Knight. Yeah, well, it's not even about finding the flashbang. It's going to be it's going to be almost more about just trying to get him to take some damage before he can go in. Right, if that's through a fire strike, if that's through Tobesy getting some shots on him as he goes up or punches in. Um, any one of those, but yeah, obviously flashbang is the clean is going to be the cleanest way to deal with it. Um, I question personally running the sim here. Uh, mm -hmm. I think sims a really strong hero in this composition, but it like without May, like you know your tank line is in real real dangerous territory. It certainly can, but with a well-placed TP, who needs a wall when you can have fun with portals, right? <laughs> As we see, the main wall comes up almost immediately. Yannick in a spot oh, of is forcing that immortality field to keep him nice and healthy here. It's now Ubo who's in the thick of the battle, feeling the heat and feeling the burn, but Quan goes to work and takes out Jam Jam. He'll be taken out in turn by a turret from Ray, who's just taken out before that level 3 beam can go online. And the dynamos are black and blue on the point here. Team Roll's going to take this first one pretty comfortably here. Yeah, I think one of the things that's important for Dynamo's to recognize, they are the slower team mm -hmm. in this situation. They need these fights to go long so your uh, Symmetra can build up her tier three. And once she does, in Brawl, she's a night, um, like an absolute menace. Oh, so yeah. it's just gonna be recognizing the pace of play and oh, great TP, I absolutely love this. Yeah, so the space is made beautifully and the May will already bait it out. Not available now for Team Roll, but an amplification matrix is as Uber goes in big, finds the flame strike onto Tolino. Yannick, however, not done quite yet, and Ray wants to get involved as well. Will not be enough here though, and Team Roll looking oh so very good on this more traditional style of the Brawl Comp. Yeah, that was just really this this is where like the off tank uh lack of like practice maybe might be coming in. Cause uh yeah that you really need to eat that fire strike like you should be looking to eat those anyway like that that one should not have gotten the value it did and, uh here we go next fight tp out 
The TP into the high noon. The cowboy up on the high ground here doesn't catch them much. And CPT will fall. The shadow down onto Combo as well. Yannick taking matters into his own hands. Now will get taken out by Combo. However, the flip is through for the dynamos, but it's going to be a case of how long can they hold on to it? Is the blizzard and the self destruct from Emily finds a triple kill and a meteor strike for good measure from Quan. They will flip the point right back in their favor. Actually, uh, the alt economy has flipped firmly into the control, like, into the hands of Rold. Uh, this does not look ideal at all. Um, Blizzard is gonna be a problem, uh, to put it mildly, and Doomfist has pretty much been uncontested the whole game. Yep, well, here we go. No messing around. The Blizzard comes down straight away, and Toadsy will just be deleted. The Shatter on top of it as well from Uber, just establishing MTD at this point. Just insult to injury, rubbing salt into the wound, as this final fight is well and truly upon us, Red Knight. Yeah, it really is. I mean, you have Sound Barrier, but there's two support ults for the side of Team Roll, and you don't have really anything else besides maybe a Desperation Bomb at the end here. And you see, uh, we're going to High Mobility Heroes. This is, this is do or die. Really is in a very desperate effort, but the touch is through by Tolino. We need to get this beat off and does just that. A pretty good one, in fact, but Combo answering right back, finding one of their own, and Yannick can do nothing but take the cold shoulder of CBT and get frozen up there as Tom, free as a bird on this Baptiste to shoot fish in a barrel. This overtime ticking down, and a very dominant mecha base goes the way of Team Rolled, as does Busan. Yeah, uh, that, that's rough. That's a rough look when, like, the map that should favor you the most. Um, I mean, yeah, there was not even a question. I think a lot of it is they just don't know how to adjust, like, to, to like, the, the, the tempo, right? Like, it's yeah. such a high tempo brawl compared to what they were on. And, oh, as we see the really, really strong uh, alt game set up here by Team Roll for their Winston player, Uber. Oh, that was rough. That last one was rough. Yeah. And that's the thing, when you run the double bubble, as long as you're managing those ultimates correctly, it's as easy as pressing Q at the right time, right? Uber had to just stand in front of the Brawl comp, take the Nano, and that's two easy kills, and they win it from there, right? There's no time to TP for Vulpine Dynamos. It's just too slow a composition. Uh, it was caught out by Team Rolled. I think Quan and the Doomfist apply pressure that the Dynamos couldn't deal with. I think that we also saw that the May was a really big issue. Um, so certainly going to be interesting to see what the Dynamos pick for their map pick. Because if they go with Brawl, we've already seen that Team Rolled looks like they're pretty comfortable to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, right? Yeah, I, if it's me, I want them to just mirror a more traditional Brawl, or they need to have a conversation internally about, like, pacing, because that's all it is. If they yeah. play for a longer fight, they should be fine. They just don't play for longer fights. Like, almost every fight they've taken, it, it, there was, like, a couple decent ones on the bridge, right? Uh, but, yeah. you know, once all turn play, it's hard. Um, yeah, like, they just gotta play for longer fights, right? You have a Symmetra. You can't, you cannot end the fight in, th like, 10 seconds. What's the point of the Sim at that point? Um, yeah. I also think at that point, you probably want to go May Sim over Kree Sim. Uh, mostly because, you, like, wall can be a tool not only to isolate a target, but also to buy time, right? For your Sim to get some reprieve. Uh, but, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out the rest of the way. Um... I, I really hope we see some more brawl maps at the same time. Like, you know, I really hope that there's a recognition of dynamos. I think they can, I think they can win this. They just need to, you know, slow down, recognize where the differential is. And it's not any skill. It's almost all macro, like how fast we go, how slow we go, things like that. Yeah, a conceptual blunder, perhaps, from the Dynamos after Busan. We are headed to King's Row here, so Dynamos, no intention of stopping that brawl anytime soon. Maybe, uh, Maybe they are going to switch things up, or unfortunately we might see a case of uh, the definition of insanity coming out from the Volpine Dynamos just trying the same thing over and over again. Um, I mean, if you're, going, if you're going with the strategy, it might have been that we've just seen some first game jitters. Like I said, there's, uh, you know, some substitutes in for the Dynamos that they might not have gelled with properly just yet, and it might have taken them a map to get used to it, but rolled looking really, really strong on that traditional brawl. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think I think it really will boil down to like w how well uh, Dynamos recognize their win conditions, and also like you know how surprised Rolled is by the different ways that they can get value out of the the differences in the team composition. Right, Symmetra offers yeah. a bunch of different options for mobility that Brawl usually doesn't have, and it's not as straightforward as your traditional Lucio pick. 
Yeah, it certainly isn't, right? And that was one of the impressive things about when we saw the bigger, more open maps on Busan, was that the dynamos were still able to close the distance. Uh, it was just that once they were surrounded, they were in trouble in that brawl comp. And uh, it will be Team Roll to defend first. It does look like they are running the tried and true brawl comp. I mean, do you like this, Red Knight? It. I mean, it, 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 it's a composition that is proven to work. I mean, it's been meta before today, right? Like there was like a year ago before Double Shield became like the meta hard or the hard meta um, that this exact composition was popular. And I I fully I fully think it's, you know, tried and true thing that every like 4K plus team should know how to run. Yeah, absolutely. Right. It's one of those things that is bread and butter Overwatch. It's really just the basics of the basics is running the Brawl Comp, especially in, yeah, especially in EU as well. Um, how do you feel about Dynamo's taking Team Roll to King's Row after they just lost in a Brawl matchup on Mecha Base? I think there's like a, there's like a thing in coaching. Um, you can't panic, right? Uh, if they had picked something that wasn't Brawl favored, I would call that a panic pick. Right? right. This is this is like we know our game plan. We have to execute our game plan. Execution's the problem. Let's go to our map. We know how to play this. We can beat them in brawl. This this is this is a tempo thing. We got to make some adjustments. Like cool. the number one thing that will kill us now is panicking. So they're they're taking them King's Row. I think it's the right decision. It's the decision I'd be making if I was their coach, knowing what I know based on what you've told me and what I just saw. So mm. um, I think again, like the big adjustments are going to be, hey, if we're running Symmetra, we got to play slower for our Symmetra. Right. If we aren't playing Symmetra, we need to recognize what their tempo is and figure out if we can play faster or if we still have to play slower. Yeah. So this is more a stick to the script. We got this sort of pick for the map, right? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like you again, you can't you can't let like what? It's not even like a full map. It was like one map that is favorable for us. We didn't or like one sub map rather, uh yeah. being favorable for us, not going our way and we panic. No, we you, you can't be doing that at this level, especially, right? You you spend all these hours scrimming, you know, these are these guys, when they play comp, they're playing against some of the best players in the world. Yeah. You know, like, you don't panic. You just reset, try again, go next. Absolutely. Uh, just to go back, because I think it's worth going over very quickly whilst we've got yeah. this pause. The only map on Busan that the Dynamos won was where they played Orisa Diva. Now, true! <laughs> is that a little worrying to you? Because it's certainly a weird pick to put in with this Brawl comp, and then they obviously swapped the McCree for the Reaper, so that they had uh, a Reaper in as well. So it was almost an anti-dive composition, but you didn't really have, like, the Sigma or anything to go with it. Uh, I, I might have to hold you to that just for now, as we are back into King's Row. I, I think real quickly, it's just like, I think it was a very like in the moment selection that made some sense just because you could hold a static static position with not a lot of sights on it. Mm -hmm. That's my thought. Ready okay. For battle. I like how you think it's a spur of the moment and not a uh, set play. That I, I, I pray it's a spur of the moment pick. Let me put mm. it that way. <laughs> uh, wait until we get to Gibraltar. <laughs> <laughs> So we are seeing uh, we are seeing Tobzi on that widow, presumably just gonna try and get an opening pick, right? You don't you don't stay on the widow maker here. No, not not for King's Row, unless you're gonna like you know literally copy the gladiators from like season one. The um, great bamboozled. The great bamboozled. Bring around the <laughs> rosy. <laughs> um, nah, but uh, it's interesting. That, okay, no, we're gonna have the Lucio. Oh, okay, I like this. This is this looks like we're we're playing for some speed. I like the Moira in here. Um, so we have Moira versus Ana. What do you make of this? Uh, I think the Ana is incredibly greedy. Uh, I think the Moira allows you to play really fast, but actually I just realized we're staying on Sim, so this is kind of like antithetical to the game plan, but uh, it can work, especially because there's no DM on the side of uh, Team Rolled. Yeah, Team Rolled opting for a very, um, you can come to us and we're gonna build our ults sort of play style. But with this Moira, it's just gonna be no hold bark enough for the Dynamo's Yannick. Caught in a spot of bother, however, and is managed to get out, but very, very hurt here. Yannick eventually will not fall, and it's Uber. The shoe is on the other foot. He will go down. Yannick also, in turn, will trade it out to Tom. But Quan can't handle the heat, and he's got to get out of the kitchen. Is the coalescence from Amber already ready to go, baby? And now the Volpine Dynamos have corralled Team Roll into the hotel, and one tick already possesses them. This is going to be the first point going in at an instant over to the Dynamos. 
Look how much more tempo control they exercised there, right? They didn't panic, yeah. they didn't aggress too hard, they did a much better job of keeping uh, Janik up through Maywall. Uh, you gotta love it. Really, really good adjustments so far. The Nano is available for roll, though, and Nano right into this Graviton Surge. A lot of pressure on Jan Jan to eat this grab, when you say, Red? Oh, a fair amount of pressure, yeah. Uh, that's really been the difference maker before, but we have High Noon coming out. Yeah, High Noon and the TP onto the high ground. The Maywall comes out in contest, but Uber will fall to that. A sleep onto Topsy is too little, too late. The Graviton Surge comes out nonetheless, but the B on the top. This is just a Q fest now with a massive anti nade on top of the Volpine Dynamos. They're scrambling, they're in trouble. The Blizzard, Emily turns the heat down with the Nano Blizzard and will be mopping up the kills. The payload gonna stay where it is. And the Dynamos left scratching their heads. How on earth did we lose that team fight? Yeah, that was incredible. I mean, honestly though, you kind of have you kind of do live with it here, I think, right? Like if you think about it, you're going to have uh you're going to have Cole up a lot more than they're going to have Nano, I would argue, in a lot of cases, and you're also about to have Shatter, right? So, yeah. ultimately, I think this is okay for them. You know, Grab's gone, Beat's gone, like we're we're okay. Nano. Or not Beat, rather. Blizzard. Nano's gone. Nano and Blizzard are gone. Like we're we're okay. We're living here. Yep, and the Photon Barrier just out to initiate. Now the beat will come out from combo, but the Shatter is pretty sizable from Uberheld. They're knocking three on their backs and Quan happy to mop it all up with that Meteor Strike. This payload now has come to a deathly halt as another Stagger comes through onto Jam Jam here. We'll be taken out by Tom and uh, it's back to the drawing board for the Dynamos. I think I think right now I'm looking at this Symmetra and I'm like I'm not sure we're getting what we need I kind of want to mirror May now especially because mm -hmm. my comp can go so much faster than Rolds can you can overwhelm an Ana pretty easily if you you have the right setup yeah with no AOE healing as well right Ana's a yeah, single 100%. target she's not going to be able to keep up with the healing that you can apply she can just go a bit faster but Uba taken out in a moment the Diva Bomb into the back will catch Tom Wonderful. as well which means just a Lucio peeling available for Team Rolled, and they've got to concede the space now. Combo will stay on the point just to stall for some time, and CBT takes Ray out on their exit, but will be uh, resetting their charge and going back to spawn. But all of a sudden, Team Rolls have cycled through their ultimates again, Red. Yeah, no, true. And so we might see a team fight flip back, and this will boil. Jam Jam has to get an eat here. I think Jam Jam has to. I think they demonstrated we will get a team wipe if we get grab off. That is the, the message I got from Roll on this last. Yeah, it certainly is. And you can see Quan actually going kind of low there, posturing up for the engagement here. But the Nano's just going to do it first. The grab some search not eaten up. Nobody's hungry tonight, except for Uber, who smells blood in the water. Takes two with the pin and the May Blizzard over the top as well. Going to allow CBT fan to clean up once more. It's still two and a half minutes on the clock for the Dynamos, though. Team Rolls still got a long way to go if they want to hold on streets. I really, 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 really like the fact that Team Rolls combos Grab and Blizzard. Mm -hmm. Like, that combination is so underrated. Like, you, you never see NA players do it, and I think the argument is always, oh, well, both of those are team fight winning. Nah, Blizzard's kind of hit or miss. It zones more than it kills. Like, you're better off just guaranteeing that, that that fight's over when you freeze everyone. Yeah, especially if you have a Lucio with Amp. Run on out of there. Not if you're in a grab as Quan goes in so very early, catching the dynamos with their pants around their ankles on the rotation. Just goes to town in that small room. There's nothing scarier than a doom fist in a small corridor, and Quan showing us just why there. Uh, uh, oof, that's rough. I, I don't know why they felt like they needed pathing change. They lost the last fight because of alts. I feel like their pathing initially was fine. This one, however, right, just opens up massive value. How are you going to kill Doom if he's 600 HP because he hit your entire team? <laughs> yeah, and now we're utilizing the teleport. Bah! I surely love this. going to help us out. The rotation around the back, the ring around the rosy. But Quan goes straight for Ray and takes him out in an instant. The Meteor Strike comes down as well, and he's well in the thick of the team. The Shadow comes down! The Ubers is just bigger! He finds four on their backs and is happy to clean that up. The Dynamos all of a sudden have a minute to work with on streets. Yeah, that was brutal. That was brutal. This Doomfist selection is doing so much work, and I mean, I don't know if it's they don't know where to look for him. I don't know if it's like they're, they're bubbling him. I don't think they've been bubbling him. I think they've been bubbling the front line mostly. So, yeah, this is rough. And with this stagger too, it's really one fight. It, they, they just killed a whole team fight with that stagger. 
Yeah, they really did. Uh, I was actually watching the clock. That was a 15 second stagger onto Jam Jam. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's tough. Shakespeare could have written a tragedy about that stagger. That's how brutal that was. A three act tragedy play. <laughs> Pretty much, that's up. But here we go, Photon Barrier. Yeah, Photon Barrier, but the Graviton Surge and a Nano Reinhardt straight in the heart of it, chucked on top with a Doom Fist and a Blizzard. What? Self destruct from Jam Jam can only do so much. Quan will be taken out, but nobody's going to be able to touch this point. And oh, I stand corrected. Tolino does get the touch, which triggers overtime, but someone's got to make magic happen now for the Dynamos. The Shatter from Uber, however, staving off the attackers in their spawn. The Doomfist from Topsy in desperation just doesn't cut the mustard. And Volpine Dynamo is going to be stopped on streets. Yeah. Yeah, I. I uh, this is like crazy to me. I thought Rolled was going to look way worse. Uh, with this on a composition, but like, yeah. who's coaching rolled? Cause like they know their win conditions. They know like, uh, they they're playing this beautifully, right? Like they're playing yeah. to every out they have. They understand how they're supposed to take engagements. Their Doomfist is not letting himself be caught out early and playing an off angle. Uh, and then they just, they, they have like these, they're playing a dive brawl comp, if that makes sense. They have these yeah. windows of engagement they can hit really hard with they, when they work with Doom and with their Zarya. And then they have to back off and play slow. And they do this beautifully. And once they have ultimates, they just rotate them. So yeah. it, it mean, plays... You... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, if you look at the uh, little lower third, we can see that Quan is putting in so much work. I mean, the damage is kind of inconsequential, right? But as a Doomfist, he's got 24 limbs on his first defense with a level 11 final blows. I mean, that is an overtime shift for the Doomfist, right? Yeah, uh, 100%. And I think I think the, the other element of it is, too, even when he's not getting kills, like, even more than the damage he's doing, which, yeah, I agree, is kind of inconsequential, the displacement, the inability for the, the brawl to move forward is, is just a giant deal in these mirrors. Especially when, again, you have, like, these windows where you can hit an anti-nade in it and all these other things going on. Yeah, there's a lot to play for now for the Dynamos. They have to come up big on their map pick, King's Row. It really is do or die for the Dynamos because to go down 2-0 after picking a map does not feel good. And the good thing about the Dynamos here is they can really pressure out Uber as they try and approach. Right, Red? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I like this a lot. Like, you see Jam Jam recognizing that they need to track this Doomfist and immediately going up to poke. Oh, but this is Zarya flank. That's a high charge Zarya. Oh, this is quite brutal, but just out of range of the primary fire. So safe for now while the backline of the Dynamos is it seems like a divide and conquer. The Nano's ready to go though, and Ray falls immediately. Tobzu is not long to follow as well as CT getting involved once more. Combo wants a piece of the action as well, and uh, that's only a minute. I mean, the Nano's charged, and as soon as Uber has that on them, that is the go button. I'm sorry, they need a May. <laughs> this is too much, right? Like, I get off the sim, we need a May. We gotta slow these guys down. Cause you just saw it, like you didn't even think about it. Although that's a really nice fire strike to kill Emily. It All certainly right. is. This might slow them down as they do, the Dynamos do get to hold the choke, but that being said, Quan's in the back line. Quan pressuring out Yannick there and they would feel a little uncomfortable. A great shadow block there coming out, but Quan still does find a pick on the Ray and the spawn advantage is coming up. Team rolled here. The Graviton Surge committed as well from CBT and the anti-nade is just enormous coming out from Tom. So Voltline Dynamos will fall and this stall is great i suppose on the card as many fights as you can but four minutes 50 in the bank yeah like and, and you're seeing it right like they just have these windows of engagement and like the 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 uh and we saw there zarya just having disproportionate impact and like they just have way too much damage across the board and there isn't enough mitigation from dynamos right there's no maywall to slow down the fight there's no maywall to punish the aggression of a uh, aggressive zarya or aggressive ryan you can't even use D.Va how you want to, which is an aggressive uh, tank to push or rush. Yeah, this is brutal. The Photon Barrier and the Bolt comes out from Tolino pretty early because the Nano Boost is invested. A big shadow, however, from Yannick, but he is anti-nated and dangerously low now. Will fall to CBT in this, far, if this fight is far from over at the moment. With this fully charged Zarya on the payload and wanting to barrel forward with a grab in hand, more or less. The beat is the action moment, and we will be going forward here. The Graviton Surge lands, and it is large to say the least. Slightly out of the grasp 
grasp of Uber, however, and he will get caught out trying to finish up on that. CBT fan picking up two kills, but will go down themselves. The Dynamos by themselves, maybe one more fight here. So staggering in, like, this is kind of interesting because now, like, no one really won that, right? Like, it was like there was a slight numbers advantage for rolls, but we're, we're still kind of fighting this last fight, like, continuously. Yeah. And a scrappy fight is where Quan is going to thrive on this Doomfist. The respawns are in for Team Roll now, and the Dynamos are having to give up space. Topsy has this high noon and has no choice but to use it right now. The Blizzard is dropped down, but the Deadeye catches Emily. The self-destruct as well in desperation now out. Topsy catches the wrong end of a shatter. Will go down there, but Quan is the one who loses his own life. The big slam! Coming out from Yannick nonetheless, we'll keep this alive for the Dynamos. They've still got one mammoth task ahead of them though. Three minutes on the clock for Team Roll, and the Dynamos have to be perfect. But they have ults, they have good ones too. Like, I mean, yeah. Photon Barrier can do a lot here. I think their biggest problem still is they gotta find this dude miss and force him out early. Because uh, he doesn't, again, Quan does not play with the team. He's not playing punch bot, right? He's playing an off angle and looking to engage. So you should be able to find him with either your Diva or your Lucio. Uh, and also, you gotta get Ray into late game fights here. Yeah, well, the Photon Barrier comes out, and Quan is looking pretty worse for Wiz. Does go down early on the linchpin of Team Roll. Will go down early enough as Ray now has turned this level 3 beam on and picked up their fourth. Make that five, maybe? Do I see a five? Yes, fifth final blow there with Cozy denying the ace from Ray. Um, okay. This swap to Emily for Sombra is interesting. I don't like it. I think that they're actually the reason that that fight was so easy for Dynamos was that there was no May to like punish mm -hmm. Janik. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's actually so weird. I'm so confused. Why would you change what was working, you know? And uh, maybe it's just because EMP can just win the game outright. That's probably I the think logic. That's what it is. Yeah. That's probably logic. So who knows? Maybe this will all be for naught and. Uh, Dynamos will not actually hold just because EMP is so broken as well. Oh, no nonsense! Graviton Surge coming out there and the beat's too late to save Ray there. The High Noon comes out from Tobes and once again it's got to come up big for Uber. Is off screen finding the picks that he needs to close this out now as Quan going hell for leather in the back line will be taking up a CPT fan on that Zarya just closing this out now. A Bionic Grenade will finish off Amber it's just a diva on the point to stall and kick and scream. They can't do it and Team Rolled go 2-0 up in the series now this is worrying for the dynamos very worrying and I, I I really am not trying to bully uh, jam jam I swear but you gotta think you know an, like if somebody ate a grab at any point you know there could be one or two team fights more here right like that's kind of the vibe I'm at right now as we watch uber just absolutely just destroy everything in this blizzard because that nano is so impactful as well right you're you're absolutely right is that there was not a worse time for you to need to substitute out your original off tank and get someone in quickly to fill. Because right yeah. now, the thing that is losing the dynamos fights and therefore maps are big alt combos. It's those grav blizzards coming in. It's the grav meteor strikes coming in. It's the nano shatter. Like all of these fights yeah. coming in. And if you yeah. could maybe mitigate one or two of them with a eat on a graver and eat on the blizzard you might have a fighting chance i mean dynamos look pretty good on the defense there yeah no i mean again like i'm not dis i don't despise how they're playing like they they looked a lot more in control than they did on the first map on busan again a lot better pacing i i liked a lot of that like i think they played for their symmetry and we saw a fight where sim, sim absolutely ate everyone alive right like sim looked great the the problem is is that like just i think when you're in the brawl mirror sim loses a lot of value if you're running her with a Kree, right? If you were on yeah. Sim May, I think it would look a little stronger. Yeah, I agree. And I think the Dynamos, like you said, right from the get-go, it seemed like the front line wanted to push, but Ray on that Symmetra wants to slow things down and get that level three. And we saw that when they did get the level three, they bore the fruits of their labors. But not to be, unfortunately, as Team Rolled go 2-0 in the series. It's going to be yep. Dynamos map pick coming up after this break here. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you on the other side of this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the expert division of GGEU. I'm Sim Babel, joined here by Red Knight. And right now, Volpoint Dynamos are backs against the wall, with Team Rolled living up to their name quite properly. And uh, could be looking at a sweep here, Red Knight. Yeah, we really could. And uh, I mean, and we heard 
this last map is going to be Gibraltar. Now, I'm sure if you're a team rolled who doesn't have access to scrim information, you're thinking this makes perfect sense, except it doesn't, right? Because why on earth would the brawl team pick Gibraltar? Like, are we Let molding? Me, like, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> you, you know the things. To, prepare to mold. And uh, <laughs> luckily this stream is on a delay. Uh, so we can kind of get into a little bit of what the Dynamos like to do on Gibraltar. They do run that anti-dive Arissa Diva composition. Only last time they ran it with a Reaper, a Brig, and an Ana. So nearly a bizarre double bubble variant. I'm not even sure how to explain it. But they bunker up and spawn camp as if you were playing uh, Havana with a brawl comp. So they take as much time off the clock as they can in that what? fashion. I told you you wouldn't believe me if I told you. But there are some genuine Chengdu zone strategies about to come out from the Volpine Dynamos that might throw Team Rolled off their rhythm. But that is a very hard rhythm to rock because Team Rolled are really looking quite good at the moment, Knight really smart right like i mean i would not call what they ran for their king's row defense standard like at mm. all like i i really do mean it was like a brawl dive hybrid like as in their openings to engage were very small they took them they played with tempo and resources and just they overwhelmed their opponents in a single burst and it just looked great right they knew exactly what they were doing yeah um so if there's any team that i would expect to be able to make an adjustment to that kind of wacky like you said, Chengdu zone. Uh, what, what, how, how shall we say? Inspirational gameplay. Like, uh, I feel one. like it would be them. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to say it, right? That's so, yeah, I, I, yeah, like, Orissa Diva, dude. Like, we're like, about like, to see something really special. And it's going to be interesting to see if Rold can come up with an answer. But again, just going back to, like you said, how they played their King's Row Brawl. They were playing it like a double bubble. They were playing for ultimates. They pushed up to first point, let their main tank take damage until they had nano boost, and then they just pushed in. In the same way that you would on a Winston. You would take yeah. the poke damage until you had the ultimates to fight with, and then you go in on the back of that. So I would be very surprised if Team Rolled come out with a weak double bubble. I think they're going to be an incredibly good double bubble team. The problem oh, yeah. is, is that I think Dynamo are about to throw them one heck of a curveball. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see if Team Rolled can adapt on the fly. Yeah, I, I think uh, what's really interesting about this is, like, if you think about how traditional fights on Gibraltar work, this, this and actually in theory, the concept of spawn holding there really makes a lot of sense outside of the map, right? So what yeah. I mean by that is, like, the whole first, like, third of point A, you don't even really fight over. You fight over the high ground, you aren't really contesting cart, cart works its way into the car wash area, and then it's my server room, and then the real like contesting and fighting starts. So, a spawn hold makes a ton of sense. Take it. Take a look at the Dynamo's comp right now. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a bastion. I mean, uh, wait, hang on. We, we're talking about the Dynamo's composition, but we're seeing Winston Roadhog coming out for Team Rolled in a sort of... Uh, Alternate double bubble composition. I I can't imagine. No, that's just it. I'm gonna throw hook over at top right in case they peek. Right? That has. To oh wait, no. I'm I'm oh, at the slip. They're defending. What? They're, wait, what? <laughs> they're defending. <laughs> they're doing this. I am confuzzled. I Forget don't. Everything you thought you knew about Overwatch because it is about to be turned on its head here with. Yep, Ray is staying on no. the last team. Yannick's taken out immediately! Just the Widowmaker! The CBT fan, the Widowmaker taking out Yannick and Arissa, who, by the way, if you're not entirely sure, has something that makes them immune to headshots. Yannick goes ah. down like a sack of potatoes right at the spawn doors, and that's pretty handy for CBT fan. You know, when you see games like this, it's either silver or it's like 4.6. There's no in between. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, the biotic grenade over the top. I mean, Ray finds a pick straight away onto Uber. We're now seeing them on that uh, May uh, just to counter, presumably Uber trying to go in on that Winston. This car is rolling merrily along and CBD Pan is being pressured away by Jam Jam, who's seemed to warmed up a little bit on the uh, Diva into a nice aggressive position here and pressuring out the snipers. Oh right my goodness. on Emily, showing why Road uh, Roadhog is not the play. Uh, yep, and another anti-nade will come through. This might still be winnable for Team Rolled here, but 
Oof is struggling to get anything done. Is CBT fan gonna have to do a lot of the heavy lifting? Already has their Infrasites online, and it seems to be the CBT fan is the only person finding picks against the Dynamo's rolls. Kind of come up against a bit of a stalemate at the moment as the Dynamos move through to server room. Yeah, but this is a really good position, and look at the window coming out. Oh, no. Yeah, Uber just has to jump right on out of there, right? As Toby has his high noon ready to go. Let's it loose, and Emily does fall. Now this Primal Rage has got to be something special now. Yannick in trouble and low, as was Uber before this Nano goes onto them, and CBT now just shooting skeets as uh, Uber launches them into the air. CBT fan having to clean those up, and the cart will finally slow down. And two minutes on the clock for the Dynamos, but Team World seem to have a stranglehold on the map now. In time though, they got a really good position. It took Primal Rage to get them out of server, and you're not going to have that right away, especially if you make a good rotation. So I'm, I'm kind of optimistic to see them retake server room here. Yeah, and Emily's made the swap over to the... Hammond, which means no bubble, no defense matrix for Uber when they choose to go in. As Emily does go for that pile driver, and the biotic grenade just runs out as that engage happens. The uh, both from from Quan pretty easily dealt with with the immortality field. They're keeping everyone nice and healthy. Dynamo is powering forward. Yannick takes a little bit of spam damage, and that's the go button for the main tanks of Team Roll, picking up kills with the aid of their teams now. This is looking pretty devastating for the Dynamos, who spent 40 seconds on that rotation. Yeah, and this is uh, why they went to Wrecking Ball, right? It was not even about, like, protecting Monkey. It was about disrupting the positioning of the Orisa composition, right? Orisa is a static tank. She does not like being pushed around. That's why Primal Rage is so good against her and the comps yeah. that she typically plays with. And you saw it there. Ball rolls through twice, pile drives, monkey just zaps, zaps, zaps the whole time. Oh, that's it. Cool. Yeah, and you can just see Yannick not getting an inch. They, they can't breathe over there. It's Jam Jam anti-nated again. Self-destruct is sent out over the top and is well placed. Doesn't net them anything. Azupa does go for the Primal Rage to keep himself in the fight for now. This payload is moving. Blizzard ready to go from Ray, but where on earth do you even put it? Everyone's so split for the side of Team Roll, as Tobzi will fall to the minefield of Emily, who's nice and healthy on this payload, slowing it down. Eventually, the Dynamos are going to be able to find a couple picks and turn the tide of this fight in their favor, and it looks like now, surely, it's a matter of time before the Dynamos take this first point. The Pulse Bomb comes up from Quan, and the Blizzard lapped over the top from Ray in contest for it. There is the first point unlocked, and the Dynamos not full held on Gibraltar. Wow. I mean, this is wacky. Like, I thought for sure... That like, this is just Orisa surviving a lot of it, right? Like, she just couldn't yep. die. <laughs> and, like, yep. is in the middle of the team, open space. I don't know. I have this <laughs> button that makes me not die, so I hit it. Like, well, yeah, they've also got the Batiste to pump 70 heals per direct hit into yeah. Orisa, which is going to help, right? As this yeah. supercharger comes down, that's going to be pretty brutal for Uber to deal with. But the Nano Boost lapped on top is going to be pretty easy pickings, however. The Fortify comes out from Yannick, but he's not long for this world. A CBT fan is doing pretty well at clicking those heads, Red. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is like a really oppressive point. Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I thought, I, I don't know what to say. All right, I didn't think Orisa would work. Orisa's kind of working. Uh, but this is a really tough point to leave a Widow uncontested, right? She just sits on spaceship, has control of all four doors and just clicks heads. Yeah, absolutely, and now the Echo's available as well, but Emily gets immediately just taken out, just smeared across the pavement. So no Wrecking Ball to operate with, and with Uber forced to use that Primal Rage to disengage. Fortnite Dynamos are going to have a lot of map agency for this next fight. I mean, the contest is coming in, and it's slowing them down. But Tobzi has this uh, high noon ready to boot, and will choose to drop it down here and now. Has it on top of Emily. Doesn't finish off either of the tanks, and the rally is out from Combo, slowing this fight to the max. It's not one that the Dynamos can afford to lose. And an enormous biotic grenade on top of the focusing beam with Quan just does so much to win that fight. Yannick does their best to find a pick, but Quan is just in deep. And I mean, Dynamos are up creep without a paddle here. Yeah, they very much are, and they don't. And they, this stagger is going to do too much again really taking away any advantage you got from the picks that were uh, got in if I was if I was Jam Jam I would have disengaged probably or try to at least yeah but you know I don't know what you do here you have supercharger it's really good but like I don't know if wrecking ball is just gonna yeah. pile drive it what what are you gonna do
yeah, yeah, Blizzard as well, but everyone's so split or on high ground. I mean, it's gonna be very difficult to use it with Quan and the duplicate as well. Do you just duplicate Jam Jam here? Do you just go for the D.Va? I still think Winston, or sorry, uh, yeah, probably. I mean, that supercharge is good and you can take a spam angle, right? Pull is also very powerful. I think either one's really good. Yeah, well, I tell you when Supercharger isn't good is when Uberheld is in the back line. The overtime is ticking low, and Emily's got to touch here. Uh, pardon me, it's got to be Ray with that Blizzard, but they can't do it as Team Roll just doing so well to hold that second point, and that Arisa composition looked like it was struggling on that second point to get much agency. Yeah, and I'm maybe you're willing to live with this if, like, you know that your, you know, wacky Chengdu zone comps, like, hold really well on first. But, mm -hmm. yeah, like, this... This was not a very inspiring second. I thought for sure, like, they would make a swap, like, to a Winston or a Ball for a second, just because of the way the map is built. Uh, but, you know, they didn't, and, you know, we saw typical oppressive things from Gibraltar second, like, hey, we control high ground, you can't come in anymore, you aren't welcome here. <laughs> be gone you know like and it, it yeah. works that way for whichever team controls it right if you're on offense and you get that high ground like it's the same thing they they, they yeah. try to push in they die you know end of story i think the kwan's echo swap was a stroke of genius and mm -hmm. i'm i'm assuming it's you know it's not new or anything like that i don't mean it in that sense but i just think that they played it so well and just really holding those two high ground choke points so that if the dynamos wanted to engage onto the high ground obviously yannick's not going to be able to get up there with any cooldowns otherwise so they yeah. got to take that long route on the high ground kwan's doing such a good job of punishing that orissa and their immobility i think it's excellent i i think the real mvp of that in terms of swaps has to be emily though the wrecking yeah. ball is just too good for, for mm -hmm. this point and okay we right are... so here we are seeing the hold up close hold the doors volpine dynamos uh spawn trapping anti-dive composition which is gonna be pretty short-lived if cbt fan is left alone for too long at the shooting range they will take out tolino oh. and ray with a jump shot and another good biotic grenade coming out just to end this here and now so obviously we'll take out kwan that's maybe going to slow you down a little bit. I mean, if nothing else, the Dynamos have bored themselves, what, 30 seconds? Just about, right? I mean, and it depends on how they choose to set up for second. I think, or not second, sorry. You, uh, you know what I meant. Second for half the second of first. Fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Second half of first, right? If they can get, like, if they can hold 18 in server room, I think that this can work out. We see a somber swap. I kind of like that. And, hey, this is dive, except with oh. Moira Lucio. So okay. we're seeing Rush. Right? This is, this is just Rush. You are flanking with your flankers and you're pushing forward with your tanks to enable those flank angles. Did Ray not know the Infrasites were up, son? CBT uh -huh. can see you there, dude! Uh -huh. CBT uh -huh. fan is having an absolute field day here as he takes out Tolino as well. The dead shot Widowmaker will not be stopped taking out Amber as well in his stride. Everyone else lies in wake of the Widowmaker who is dominating Gibraltar now. Team Rolled are just gonna keep on moving. I was surprised about the Lucio Moira swap because yeah, obviously it's Rush, but like it's the worst map in the game for any version of Rush, <laughs> including the ones that have dive tanks. Uh, so this is oh, as we see, yeah, we can't find Janik. Yeah, Janik goes down pretty early. This is going to be a first point take quite comfortably for Team Rolled here. Dynamo's looking like they're trying to put a square peg into a round hole at the moment, and they just cannot get it to fit no matter how hard they jam. They're going to stall this out for a little longer, but the time back going into second for Team Rolled is going to be brutal. Quan will fall to Ray, but Ray's not long for this world and will be taken out as well as Tobzi in four and a half minutes to get halfway through streets. Yeah, uh, and there's no way that the map control has been like taken by Dynamos at this point, so I, this is going to be probably hard gate kept from... A uh, hard gate keep, sorry, rather, from Rolled. Rolled have. Yeah, oh no, this is just a mess. Like, false bomb has to be, like, the hugest false bomb I've ever seen. And there's Nano. Okay, the CBT goes down early, so no widow in the sky. Quan claps back, though, and this Nano Monkey, all series long, has been oh so very devastating for the Dynamos to deal with, and they haven't come up with a solution just yet. Tom will fall, but Uber's angry, has that primal rage, and closes out the fight nice and quickly. Now it's a case of who can touch. If they can, though, Red, they've got the ults to win this fight. And what's important is I think there's a slight overinvestment from Rolled, right? We saw Rally, we saw Nano, we saw uh, Primal. So this this is if there's a fight to turn it around, it's this one. 
Yeah, and it has to be now, but not an overcommitment from the Dynamos as a wayward hack doesn't net them anything. Tobzi falls early. The coalescence has to be enormous. It takes out combo, and the EMP is lapped on down, but it only catches Quan in the duplicate form. Self-destruct over the top as well as Yannick takes a nap with the primal rage that has already expired as Ray falls to CBT fan, who's just as deadly on Tracer as he is on Widowmaker. Uber will fall, but CBT fan is still on the field, and anything is possible with Quan at his side. The pulse bomb from Tobzi will maybe sway Huge. this in their favor as the Dynamos barely hold on. They're just about securing the payload. I can't believe that fight was won by Dynamos. I'm so confused how that stabilized out. I, I got lost and I usually track Overwatch stuff pretty okay, but that was that was wild. And you see the Diva swap, which I think is just absolutely necessary at this point. You're gonna have another pulse bomb to the side of rolled. I, I mean, I don't know how you make magic happen twice. Well, the beat's out really early for the Dynamos to engage really Yannick? early. Yannick will fall, but Tobzi does take out Tom. I mean, I mean, Rogue don't want to push this, right? If they're missing their honor, they can't push it. So effectively, the Dynamos have manufactured a team fight wherein they're only building ult charge. Yeah, I, I, yes, that is very true. I'm still confused because <laughs> that was a very aggressive play from Yannick. I, some might call a little over aggressive, and you're going to see DMAC coming out for Jam Jam. Oh, no. Is, but look at Tobsy go to work oh. on the trace. He takes out Combo and Quan, oh keeping this God. fight alive. Another beautiful sleep from Team Rolls. Tom, who has been so very good on this Anna. But again, too many members are lost for Team Rolls here, and that they can't push it. All of a sudden, the time bank dwindling down. If if this is held by Dynamos, I don't even know what to say. They have EMP <laughs> again, and that's a pulse bomb. But they get the sleep. Oh no, oh. Tobsy, no. I mean, if anyone's Winston. gonna die, if anyone's gonna die, then Tobzi's gonna be back in the fight nice and early. The EMP's ready to go, but ultimates are already coming in from rolled. Now, EMP invested in it slightly better than the last time we caught two. Now the couple essence out from combo as well, but Emily's already done a world of hurt, taking out two members of the Dynamos who are now just desperately trying to keep this alive. The self-destruct out from Jam Jam as Quam with the right clicks takes out Amber in this payload, now tantalizingly close. 14 roll to this yeah, golden box. Victory Tom taking out, uh, being taken out by Yannick though, and the self destruct from the duplicate Khan gets everyone on the dynamo so low back and forth. The pendulum is swinging now, but Team Rolled look as though they're coming out on top now, finally, oh! with a double self destruct to lock it in. Team Rolled 3 0 on Gibraltar like you've never seen before. That was incredible. That was, that was insane how close that was, given how that, like, the first half of that played out. I. I'm lost for words. <laughs> Brigida playing the game. All right. Let's you see know. some incredible stuff. Ah, <laughs> yes. Ah, so yes. They really, they really held down that left click really well. I mean, we're shielding than I'm used to. <laughs> to be honest, we got lost in the source of those team fights a lot. And that was, I mean, that's a Gibraltar that I'm certainly not going to forget for a long, long time. And I told you, if we went to Gibraltar, the Volpine Dynamos were gonna put on a show. And they certainly did that. Unfortunately, they couldn't come out with a win. Team Rolled just operating at a higher pace uh, this season. Yeah. Uh, okay, and I, I gotta say this, right? Like, okay, all the memes aside, I actually thought that Dynamos like played rel relatively yeah. well, given the, the situation they were put in um, and the compositions they chose to run. Um, but Rolled, like, I, just looks better yeah. like in every element of the game right yeah. they they did not just stay on traditional compositions right they played some very creative stuff they made really good counter picks i'm telling you the ball was a stroke of genius um excuse me i might no 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 sneeze <laughs> all right anyway uh <laughs> but the ball is a stroke of genius you're absolutely right about echo being an excellent pick into their composition um yeah. You know, they have really good skillful players across the board. Their monkey got a ton of value multiple times. Emily looks incredibly flexible as a player, uh, having played both uh, DPS and tank today. Uh, yeah. You know, their May looks very, very, very good. And, yeah, like, I I can't see this team losing. Like, this team was insane. Like, I, I mean, the, the eye test just screams this is the best team in expert. Yeah, they are looking on form and on fire right now. And uh, 
we can take a look here at CBT fans uh, player card. I mean, an unbelievable performance on Widowmaker. I mean, the the weapon accuracy being 65%, the scope critical hit accuracy 30%. One in three shots is a headshot. I mean, when you've got a Widowmaker who's not missing their shots, what do you do? There is very little you can do. And sometimes you've got to hold your hands up and say, do you know what? They're just having a fantastic game and they're not missing, right? Yeah, and I mean, in fairness, right? And this is one of the things about dom dom uh, dominoes that really kind of expose them, right? Is like when you're on these kind of brawl compositions, what you're really saying is, hey, we don't care if you have Widowmaker player. We're going to play at a high enough pace and we're going to play uh, safe enough individually that we're going to yeah. deny the Widow value without contesting her. And we're going to punish you for only having five players against our six. And that is not how that played out at all. And that is because a combination of individual players are playing angles that they probably shouldn't have been. And just quite honestly, the map pool not being favorable to that kind of uh, game plan for Widowmaker. So CBT yeah. fan just had all the space in the world to do what they wanted. Yeah, they absolutely did. And I think the substitutions really uh, hurt Dynamos coming into this series, especially up against uh, a team of Team Rolls caliber. Uh, coming into it with who could very well be the best team in Expert right now. Uh, yeah. You don't want to go into that half strength. And unfortunately, the Dynamos were. We saw that reflected in some of their gameplay as well, which is a very unfortunate for them. But that is the way the cookie crumbles, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, 3-0 to team rolled. Very deserved for them. We're going to go to a short break, ladies and gentlemen. But we are going to be back with some more Overwatch on the other side of this. Don't go anywhere. We've got plenty more to show you 